chicken strips with that keto breading oh you can't tell me nothing we got some homemade mac and cheese some homemade rumelade sauce for our yeah them chicken strips <laughs> some broccoli we have some pickles to go with our chicken strips we have some uh -huh, chipotle tabasco the best sauce ever uh some mango peach flavored water and some extra pickles, girl. Who want a yummy bite? Who ready for this mother flipping mukbang? Mm hmm. What's up, yummy bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all already see it. I'm ready to eat, honey. We are drinking some mango peach flavored water. Ah, yes, y'all. Oh, I'm so excited. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. That's my favorite, y'all. My absolute fave. Who is ready? Uh oh. <clears throat> Amen, y'all. I'm ahead of myself, okay? Who is ready for this mother flipping mukbang? Homemade chicken strips, baby. Look at that rumelade sauce. Oh my God. Mm mm mm. I already know we gotta put some of that on there. Let's add this good old pickle. Let's see what it do. Mmm. That, oh my God. It's so good. Mmm. This is delicious. Everything combined together is spectacular. Mmm. Girl. Mmm. The chicken is juicy. Who want a yummy bite? Y'all know y'all want some? Mmm. Mmm. It's macaroni and cheese, so creamy. Mmm. Just in case you ain't heard, I love macaroni and cheese. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all, this is so good. Goodness.
Mm-mm-mm. It helps that the chicken is juicy because if it was dry, I wouldn't like it. Mmm. <laughs> Boy, my cheese sauce is so banging. But this mac and cheese, oh my God. Thank you, TikTok, for the pickle combination, honey, because what? I don't know who came up with it, but oh my God. It is a winner. Y'all was tired of seeing everybody go to Wingstop and get their chicken strips. I was like, look, I need to make me some because I can't have theirs because I'm on keto. But baby, I'm going to make me some from the house. And these are perfection. Mmm. I'm so happy. Mmm. <laughs> What y'all eating with me? <laughs> or y'all just watching? <laughs> Get your greens in. Mm. Even the broccoli is good. I put some chicken bouillon in there and that's it. And baby. Delicious. Boy, mm. it's so good. Wow. Like, it's so much better to cook at home, y'all. Y'all just don't even know. You wouldn't have no complaints, especially if you know you can cook, okay? It ain't never gonna be nasty. And people always say, do you ever eat anything that you don't like? If I did, y'all probably won't see it. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me, huh? <laughs> Mm. Mm mm. Girl. This is the meal right here. Right in the middle of the week, y'all. <laughs> Happy mother flipping. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's gonna be Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, y'all. Nope. No chicken wings is, um, I mean, we got sh chicken strips. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Almost the same thing. But, yeah, no chicken wings this week. I'm not craving them at all. Y'all know that guy, that white guy, who... On the live Sade. I think that's her name. Um, why are he not cooperating with the police? He's not telling them where the body parts are. They're just finding them. He's not cooperating. His lawyer is probably telling him, don't admit to knowing where anything is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 
because he's trying to get off. Like, please. Honey, if he get off, I don't even know what to say, honestly. I really don't. Mmm. Y'all just don't know the food heaven that I'm in right now. The literal food heaven. And if you have not tried chicken with pickles, girl. This, this combination, period. Pickles, the room a lot, and this sauce, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know. Who want a yummy bite? Oh, oh my gosh, it's about to drip. Mmm. Hurry up and get y'all a bite. Look at that crust. Ugh. Mmm. I should go get merch a bite. He out there pulling weeds, y'all. He in the field working, girl. He is working. Yeah, I'm not going to get to that last one, but I'm just doing two. Woo! Because I'm getting full already. Oh, my goodness. This is my first meal. You see how, like, I don't eat a lot? That is how... That's one of the reasons why I'm losing weight, y'all. Mmm. Question control. No carb, no sugar. Or low carb, low sugar. Mmm. Look how juicy. The chicken here. So juicy. Girl, I don't even know if I'm going to finish this. Woo! Y'all, I still haven't made them daggone crazy puffs. Those pizza things. I just dread making that dough that I have to make. And I have to use my, um, what do you call that thing that mixes stuff? Not a blender, but that, that, that thing. That professional looking thing. I got one, y'all. This company sent me one from TikTok. I'm really grateful for it, but I don't feel like using that mug. Like, I wish I could just stir up the um, dough with my, uh, with a fork or something. You know what I'm saying? And I have to use that, but you have to. I don't know why I'm dreading even using it, y'all. I don't know why. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Mmm. Mmm. I'm doing my video early today. Earlier than yesterday, y'all. Yesterday was just ridiculous. Stayed up till like four in the morning with Murder Show, y'all. We watched a good freaking movie. What was that movie called? It was a two-word movie. I forgot, y'all. But it was good. We wasn't even gonna watch it at first. And then we just we just we would pass over and be like, you know, we wanted to watch it and it was like, let's let's find something better. You know what I'm saying? And then we couldn't find anything better, so we ended up watching it. We were just so happy that we watched it because it was good. When Marshall looks for a movie, he looks for how high the ratings are, if it has lots of reviews. 
Um, and we were looking for a like a uh, suspense type of movie. Um, because that's what I like. I like something that's going to startle me or, you know what I'm saying? A movie like that. That's what I was, um, wanting to watch. Right. And, um, definitely found that y'all. I literally, during that movie, I screamed. And after I screamed, y'all, I screamed so loud to where my voice got hoarse, y'all. When I woke up, my voice was hoarse. <sighs> And my throat was kind of hurting. Excuse me. After I had immediately after I had screamed, my vo my uh, throat started like hurting. It was like itchy. I was like, oh my god, because I screamed that loud, y'all. I was not even expecting to scream so loud, but I did because, girl, <laughs> that freaking movie had scared me on one part. It was just that one part that scared me. But yeah, I like to like, like movies, if I'm going to watch a movie, I got to feel something. You know what I'm saying? Is anybody else like that? Like I got to feel some type of emotion where they like pisses me off. It scares me. It makes me cry. Like I got to feel something. If I don't feel anything, it's boring and I want, I want to go to the next movie. I don't want to watch it. Is anybody else like that? Like... <laughs> Mm. It gotta be funny. Something like that. Mm. And when I say funny, I mean I'm to where I'm grabbing my sides. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't that funny, I don't wanna watch it. If it's supposed to be a comedy. I don't wanna watch it. Mm. I don't think I've ever cooked chicken strips that were so moist. Like, that's delicious. Y'all get to read y'all's comments today. Oh my God. I'm so excited. <laughs> When I don't get to read y'all's comments, y'all, I'll be so freaking sad. <laughs> like, it's a high, that's a, one of the highlights in my videos to me. Oh, that's good. Y'all, Jaguar Wright is out here talking in these mother flipping streets, girl. She had an interview with somebody. I don't know who it was that was interviewing her. But Marisha was watching the interview. And, okay, something. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all, but this is irritating me. That's why I keep messing with it. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I didn't have time to watch the whole thing before I came on here. So, I'm going to watch the whole thing. When I'm done with this video, and we're gonna talk about it tomorrow, y'all make sure y'all watch the Jaguar Wright um, interview. Whoever this is, God dog it. It's a recent interview. It's a new interview. Um, and I do believe that is YouTube that uh, he's watching. Hmm. Okay, I can't do it. <laughs> I was going to try to take another bite with that pickle on there. Mm -mm. Let me take the pickle off. I can't even do it. Because I don't want to get so full to where I'm like, oh my God, I'm too full. That's how it was yesterday, y'all. Um, even though I only had four tacos, I didn't even have the five tacos I had on my plate. It was just, I don't know what took me over the edge. Maybe I should have just eaten three. Girl, I was too full. I was still full when I went to sleep last night, and that's not good. I never go to sleep on a full stomach. Make sure your stomach is empty and you're 
drinking water and stuff like that or coffee if you want to but um yeah y'all okay so let me see what i have as far as topics go let me put this top on here put you back down here with the condiments yeah i gotta <laughs> re-up so i can look presentable for my peeps ladies have y'all tried that new uh fuchsia fury uh lip gloss from fenty i did i told y'all i did didn't i i need to make a video about it my lip combo with future fuchsia fury i already have a video with this um this is hot cherry for those of you who want to know this is a fenty heat uh lip gloss hot cherry y'all it's my absolute favorite I swear, I think that I'm keeping that uh, lip gloss in business, honey. That's how many I bought. And I buy them in, in bulk, too, when I do buy them. Um, okay. <clears throat> what makeup product, ladies, do you keep? Uh-oh. What makeup product do you keep um, on hand? Like, you cannot do without it. Let me know in the comments and then, you know, so everybody else can see what they need to try. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's put it out there. Um, y'all, did I tell y'all that I went viral on, uh, TikTok? I went, vi and Instagram, y'all. This is recent. Um, I went viral on TikTok for my, you know, that Chipotle bowl that I had. The other day, I recorded my order, right? Y'all, this video has 2 million views, y'all. It made a million in one day. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, people want to see this? <laughs> Baby, you think I'm not about to do another one? But I'm doing it for Kava. So we're probably going to do Kava tomorrow in the car. Car McVeigh, okay? Um, I also went viral for that lettuce wrap burger, y'all. It just hit a million. It hit a million yesterday, I do believe. See, so, yeah, y'all, I'm just happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you're a content creator, uh, you know, that's amazing. When you go viral, because guess what? <laughs> yes, and that's why we do this. <laughs> But, um, okay, so let's see what topics I got. Girl, okay. OJ Simpson. Oh, y'all, they just, I don't know. Anyway, people are talking, y'all already know people are talking about OJ Simpson. And they're talking, now they're talking about how much money he left his kids. He left his kids, um, over 200 million dollars right and now and people are like oh what about the 30 uh million dollar judgment that um the you know nicole brown's um family had on him i thought he paid that way back when all of this happened like what <laughs> how are you able to have 200 million dollars and you owe somebody you know there's a judgment for 30 million dollars that you have to pay somebody. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, why I wasn't paid earlier. Anyway, so now they're trying to get that money from the kids. So, you know, um, a lawyer for uh, OJ said that they probably, they won't even get near the 30 million that they're supposed to get. How does that work? If the judge said that they was going to get 30 minute, million and OJ has 30 million, he has over 30 million. Why wouldn't they get the whole 30 million? I, I don't understand. Can somebody please explain it to me? Is there any lawyers in the house? <laughs> please explain that to me. Um, Simpson's will, which he signed just a few months before his death from a prostate cancer months, at age 76. Jim Murray tells us what it shows. I didn't, I don't think that he thought that he was going to pass away, y'all. He thought that he was going to survive it. 
uh, whatever kind of cancer it was. He thought he was going to survive it. That's why he waited so late to sign that um, uh, his uh, will. Anyway. O.J. Simpson's will signed just three months before his death. The document reads, Last Will and Testament of Orenthal Simpson. There's his signature, penned on January 25th. And did O.J. Simpson know that the end was near? I think he did know the end was near. He did. At that point, he said, hey... I better finally get my affairs in order in case this doesn't go my way. Exactly. Simpson's last will was filed in a Las Vegas court. Now his attorney and executor says the first order of business will be to conduct an inventory of Simpson's assets to determine exactly how much he was worth. The will declares I am not currently married and I have four children, the names of which are listed on the document. Four. Now the battle over Simpson's estate is heating up and at the heart of it, do the families of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman finally get the vast sums awarded them at the civil trial, said to now be around $200 million? Simpson's longtime lawyer, Malcolm Laverne, says the Goldmans will not get close to that, but they may get some. How is it $200 million, $200 million when they were only awarded $30 million? I remember when they were awarded that in civil court. Mm. I think there may very well be a chance for them as claimants to get something, I think that it's probably not likely to get the entire 201 million. Simpson is expected to be cremated tomorrow. The will directs wow. that my remains be released to my personal representative to be dis- We are getting our first look wow. at- Wow. Y'all tell me, if you want to, whenever you go to be with Jesus or wherever you gonna go after this life, do you want to be buried or cremated or whatever else there is? I don't know. I wouldn't want to be cremated. That that kind of scares me, honestly. And you know what else? Being cremated scares me and so does being buried it scares me. You know what I'm saying? I always think, what if I all of a sudden wake up or something? Because, y'all, it's happened before. It's definitely happened to people. You know, they wake up and they're alive now. You know, after people thought they was dead, you know, and I don't know. That just, oh my God, this scares me so much. I don't want neither. I mean, I wonder what else can I have? Um, maybe, because I think they do this in Louisiana. They don't bury people like you're above the grave, like in, in your casket. Like, I'm going to get like one of them houses thing. You know what I'm saying? I just want to lay in the casket and I don't want to be buried under no dirt. Like, that ain't what I want. I don't want to be, you know, put into an incinerator. Like, I don't want that. Anyway, let's move on. Rest in peace to uh, OJ once again. Um, they gonna keep bringing him up, honey. They gonna keep bringing him up. Guess what challenge I'm gonna do, y'all. And I forgot I need to do it today. Y'all, why are people on TikTok... This is, it's gone viral, I believe, within the last past day or so. If you're going to do something that's viral, you need to do it, like, immediately. But people are taking a shot of Everclear, y'all. So I went and got the smallest freaking bottle that I could freaking find because I don't drink Everclear. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to do it, y'all. You have to drink it without making any type of face or anything. I'm going to be doing this on TikTok. So, um, <laughs> stay tuned. Follow me on TikTok, y'all, if you're not already following me. Um, so, yeah, you have to take the shot. Yeah, you have to take the shot and not make a face at all. You have, you can't show any type of emotion when you do it. And I don't know. I think I can do it. I've I've, ta I've had Everclear before, like back in my heyday, you know. But I haven't had it in years, girl. Oh, my God. Years. It's been at least friggin' 20 years, okay? Um. All right. Uh, next topic. What is this? Antonio Higgs. <gasps> okay, first of all, this story is heart breaking okay and i have to show y'all this news clip of um 
this woman. Okay, so is it still here? Hold on, let me see if it's still here. Okay, um, it's this young man by the name of Antonio Hicks, right? He unalived his mom's boyfriend, okay? And I want y'all to listen to what his mom had to say about him. Okay, okay, it says the mother of Antonio Hicks speaks out on social media buzz. The mom may have more to do with her son's actions than she's trying she's trying not to accept what you think. Oh, this is somebody's caption. Prayer sent and condolences. But listen to this. This is out of this is coming out of Detroit. What you looking at? I'm with, I'm over here too. Oh, listen to this. It is heartbreaking. Listen. Antonio Hicks, charged with killing Air Force Sergeant Johnny Clyburn last Tuesday, is speaking out. She believes her son was simply jealous of the love she had for the decorated sergeant. Listen. Clyburn was engaged to Hicks' mother, and she calls her son a monster, wishing he could be sentenced to death for his heinous crime. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has the story. Listen to this. It's hard to imagine any mother wishing her own son could get the death penalty, yeah. but Nicolette in a pace as not many mothers have seen what she has witnessed to me he's a monster you were smart enough not to shoot yourself like that you know exactly what you were doing Nicolina Pace is talking about her 19-year-old son, Antonio Hicks, who allegedly shot the man she was so eager to marry, her soulmate, Air Force Sergeant Johnny Clyburn. I think the devil was in Antonio, and I think he was jealous. I think he was jealous that he probably he was. He knew he had to leave. We were planning a wedding. We didn't want you here. He knew he had to leave. What? That's all I needed to hear. Wow. You know what I'm saying? No wonder he's like. Nope. That's what you get for showing that man more love than your damn son. Boom. Wow. I, I was wow. I was wondering what you was gonna wow. take from it. That's exactly what wow. everybody is taking That's from it. Like, dang. what? No wonder. Like, it, it, it's like <laughs> we don't even have to ask why. What's the line? What's the line on the I can't. <laughs> Bailey, that's not what we're doing. Your daddy's handling business right now. So chill. Did y'all hear that? I'm going to let y'all hear that again because I don't think everybody Jealous heard that. The Listen. man she was so eager to marry. Her Unbelievable. Her Air Force Sergeant Johnny Clyburn. I think the devil was in Antonio and I think he was jealous. I think he was jealous that he had to leave. Because he knew he had to leave. We were planning a wedding. We didn't want you here. He knew he had to leave. And John was not going to take care of a grown man that couldn't even, that wasn't even trying to help himself. Nicolina says her fiance. Let me tell y'all something. Stop it, Bailey. This young man was only 19. He was only 19. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he didn't have a job. A lot of people are having a hard time with getting a job these days. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. Men, women, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, help him. Help him get a job. You know, like, and then he, he was probably hurt because his his mom was probably making, you, can you imagine the things that they were saying to him? She literally said that she did not, we don't, we don't want you here. And that's his mom. You know, like, I just can't even imagine what was going on. You know, in that house and how they were probably speaking to him and making him feel. I just, I literally, y'all. Uh, hold on, give me a second. Yeah, y'all, I just, when I heard the mama speak, I was in shock. Like, you could tell that she, uh, you know, I don't want to say that she loved her man more. It just seemed that way. You know, I don't want to, because I don't know what's in her heart. I don't know. Maybe she's just really heartbroken right now about, you know, what happened. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But it's very possible that her son was jealous. It's very possible. Like, it's, you know, and she probably knows that he was jealous. Like, anyway, I'm going to let y'all finish hearing it. 
It was her everything, their love like a fairy tale. And she says all John ever tried to do was help her son, who was never diagnosed with a mental condition. But she and John thought the 19-year-old had some sort of problem. And John tried to help him get on Social Security. But Nicolina says her son never followed through. And he resented that he was going to have to move to Florida to live with his father. If he does have schizophrenia, schizophrenia and mental illness, he gives those people a bad name. I don't even believe he has that. I just think he has the devil in him. The day after Memorial Day, when Sergeant Clyburn got home from work, he was in the basement cleaning up something Antonio broke. And so John turned around and see what Antonio want. That's when Antonio shot him. Nicolina says she started hitting Antonio. He left the basement, but then came back. What do you think made him come back downstairs? Because I think he still thought John was alive. And Nicolina does not waver when she says she wishes her son could get the death penalty. Like a petition or something where he can get the death penalty and we can make an example out of him. And I would be the first person to put my signature at the top. I don't think he deserves to be here. He knew how in love we were. So why destroy it? It's like he think he, he walked away with some, look what I took from you. He wanted to do this. Wow. I believe it was purposely done. I believe he thought about it. It was probably premeditated. And to anyone who has ever loved John, Nicolina says she is sorry for what her son has done. On Detroit's e of 19 year old Antonio. Yeah, that is heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. It really is. I don't know, I just never heard of a story quite like this. Um, oh my gosh. This is her and her son. I think she might have had him when she was young. I have a feeling that she was really young when she had her son. Talking about he knew how much we were in love, like, he knew that we didn't want him here. So I guess after they get married, the son gets kicked out. And he didn't want to go live with his dad. Y'all. And I hope he doesn't get the, the death penalty. I feel like he might have uh, went insane. I'm not even excusing what he did because he knows what he did was wrong. He knows that. Um, but the circumstances, I don't know, y'all. I know there's no excuse. There's no excuse to to be violent like that with anybody. But I just, I, I hope he don't get the death penalty. He doesn't deserve the death penalty, I don't think. So, there, y'all let me know what y'all think about that story. Um, yeah. I was gonna let y'all hear this um, This uh, woman, she made a video about it and everything she said, I completely agree with, but I've, I just told y'all basically, you know, what she uh, said too. Um, but we put a man on the moon. Let me see what else. Oh, okay. I need to know y'all's opinion on this before I read y'all's comments. Okay. This young lady made a post and said, stop having birthday dinners if your guests gotta pay. What do y'all think about that? <laughs> what do y'all think about that? Because, like, you're inviting people to this birthday dinner, right? And this person feels like if you're inviting me, well, then the food should be free. You know what I'm saying? Just like a kid's birthday party. You're not going to go to a kid's birthday party and pay. Like, everything is going to be free. Everything should be free, you know? And... I don't know. I mean, I, if you have the money, it would be nice if you could, like, if you, when you invite somebody to your birthday dinner at a restaurant, maybe you could cover everybody's tab. What do y'all think about that? What do y'all think? Uh, you know, I'm thinking that I kind of agree with it, you know, because everybody is not going to have, like, whatever restaurant you pick, they might not have that kind of money, but you do. You know, you asked everybody to come, you know, so you can pay. Mmm. I don't know. What y'all think? Bring your own money or the birthday uh, person who came up with this and who picked the restaurant needs to pay for everybody's food. Even though they're the birthday person. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. 
Um, what is this? Do, do, do. <gasps> Y'all, this lady, what is her name? Um, somebody from Love and Hip Hop, y'all. Sierra is her name. Anyway, she gets this big, huge tattoo. I believe it's on her leg. And she ended up in the hospital, y'all. She can't even walk. Like, I am not sure. Uh, it says learning to walk again. Yeah, it says tattoo sent reality TV star to the hospital. Like, oh my God. And they said, somebody said, Sierra is too old for the foolishness. At this point, she needs a full-time babysitter. What? Elmo, the lady asked, step with her right leg, and she asked which one. Oh, gosh. They're just trying to talk about her. But I don't know what happened. It must have gotten infected or something. I'm not even sure, y'all. Like... I mean, a tattoo is a big freaking open wound. You know, it must have been humongous. Like, it must have been real big. And uh, that tattoo shop better watch out, honey, because she's probably going to sue. Because, like, how did she end up like that? Like, how? It had to have been, allegedly, the tools. Something had to have been dirty. Like, something from that tattoo shop wasn't right. Or she wouldn't have... You know what I'm saying? Went into the hospital. Unless it was something within her. You know, that's the only other thing. But I don't know, y'all. Mm. Yeah, her name is Sierra. She was on Love and Hip Hop. And people are saying that's, now that's going to be her storyline. Like, who cares if it is? Like, it's not like she faking. Like, she is literally went to the hospital. Um, what is this? Oh! <gasps> My gosh, y'all. Okay, this is the this is the last uh topic. Did y'all hear about that um woman? Um, she was sixty one, a black lady. She was dr driving for it was it Uber? Yeah, Uber. And um, she went to go. She she got a a notification or whatever because I don't know how Uber works. Um, that she needed to go and pick something up from somebody's house. Right? It was a package. Um, so she went. To go pick it up, encountered this old white man, 81 years old. He had a freaking pow pow. It this and it's on video, y'all. He felt like he was getting scammed. Um, I think he had been scammed. He was talking to the scammers over the phone anyway. And I guess he thought since she showed up to pick up whatever it is from Uber, that she had something to do with it. Y'all, he unalived her. And he is charged with first-degree murder, I do believe. Let, let's listen to this. A new video that shows the moments before a bizarre no. tragedy unfolded outside Springfield. 81-year-old William Brock allegedly shot an Uber driver three times at his home. Three while times. While both were being targeted by a scam call. The driver, Lathea Hall, seen here working for Uber in Franklin County. Investigators say she was called she to can barely walk, to pick up a package. But the sheriff's office says Brock thought Hall was part of a scam and tried to hold her at gunpoint. A scuffle broke out. Hall was shot dead. Brock is now charged with murder. The sheriff's office says the scammers told Brock that a family member was in jail and demanded money. No word on who the scammers are or where that call came from. Y'all, one of those scams. We know that scam. Oh, my God. I didn't know that was the scam that was going on. Oh my goodness. And now that lady done lost her life. 61 years old, y'all. 61. That is horrible. That is horrible. And then, dude, he has to go to prison. You know, he's probably I I'm he's probably not gonna get that many years, y'all. I already know it. First of all, because he's 81. And then um he's probably gonna claim self-defense because there was a scuffle first. You know, she's probably trying to defend her life. Because he had a freaking piece. You know, I don't know how it's going to go, y'all. I don't know. What y'all think? Y'all let me know. Let's get to the mother flippy comments, girl. Uh-oh. All right. What y'all got to say today?
What y'all gotta say today? Uh oh, we gotta. Okay. <laughs> uh, Nanette Reynolds, eighteen eleven, says blessings. We gonna call you the fry queen because you always frying them tacos. Yes, girl, it's my favorite. You already know. Um, what the biggie two one two seven says? Black folks didn't grow up with blue with brie cheese either. Girl, I knew about brie cheese when I was growing up. We didn't eat it, but I knew about it. Like, definitely knew about it. I mean, maybe you didn't, you know, but I definitely did. Um, Zen Zone Zeal five six nine says, "Yummy." They know how to reseal the package. To make you think it's new and sterile. They probably do, huh? Mm. But I ain't stupid, though. I'll be like, can, can you hand it to me? Because I need to make sure that this seal hasn't been broken. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm still going to do that experiment, though. I'm going to do it. It's Nessa468 says, I truly enjoy your videos, hon. Great news you be sharing. Thank you, sis. Thank you. I'm so glad you enjoy it. Um, Queen B. Jones 8404 says, I'm sorry, but can't no one convince uh, me not to be scared of any pit bull. Just have heard too many horror stories. Exactly. Nobody convinced me either at all. Like, you can't tell me nothing at all. Like, I was scared for Jaden to be around my daughter's uh, pit bull. Like, I was afraid. Generally afraid. For him. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though her dog is super sweet, but you just never know when a dog can snap. You never know. You never know. Uh oh, question. Who was uh Jack who was interviewing Jaguar Wright? Do you know who that is? Uh, Real Life Productions. Real Life Productions on YouTube. Real Life Productions. That's where the interview is, y'all. Queen B. Jones 8404 says, I'm torn whether OJ did it or not. Let's just say I have a reasonable doubt, just like the jurors did. Um, it's so sad about the young lady who was killed um, going out on a date. It's so hard to trust in this world we live in today. I will be shocked if he gets convicted. You'll be shocked, girl? You'll be shocked about that? Girl, not me, because... <laughs> He deserves to be uh, convicted. And I think that he's going to be convicted. It, the, the evidence, I feel like, is just too overwhelming, you know, unless they create reasonable doubt. Girl, oh my gosh. Deborah Cooper 4184 says, it was drugs was the cause of them people's death. That's what people said, allegedly. That's what a lot of people are saying because of how it was done. And y'all, mm, allegedly, Riri Love 1962 says, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure your notifications are on and set to all. Share if you care. Leave a comment or suggestion down below. Yummy Bites would love to hear what you gotta say. Thanks and have a great mother flipping day. <laughs> y'all do what she said now. Thank you, Riri. Um, let's see. Uh, Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, I found out the hard way about uh, grapes and dogs. What? I had a half great Dane. He was my baby at four years old. He died from kidney failure. My baby um, ate a bowl of green grapes that I left on the table to run to the bathroom. He ate the bowl of grapes. He died four days later. Broke my heart. I felt too bad. He was a sweetie. Girl, I would be devastated. Oh, my God, I would have been devastated. That is so sad, sis. Wow. Man, I'm so sorry. That Oh, wow. Deborah Cooper 4184 says, Tacos look delicious, yummy. Girl, they were more than delicious. They were spectacular. Spectacular. Oh my gosh. Queen Kyria says, looks so good. You and the tacos. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. 
Um, Joanna Aguilar4961 says, your new channel for your plant should be a, should be Yummy's Gardening Vlog. Yummy's Gardening Vlog. Y'all, help me with the name for my new gardening channel because I'm going to make another channel just for my gardening videos. Um, but I don't know what to name it. So, help your girl out. Because whoever is interested in gardening, um, j you're just going to go to that channel. You know what I'm saying? And let my vlog just be for vlogs and cooking and stuff, you know? I, I think, because I was thinking, I was like, I do I do need to separate that. Mersha was telling me before that I needed to get another channel for my um, gardening. And I just hadn't done it yet. But it's coming soon. I need a name, though. Um, I think I had said, uh, did I say Yummy's Gardening or gar Gardening with Yummy? Something like that. Anyway, y'all leave me some names. Um, and thank you, Joanna Aguilar, um, for, uh, giving me that name. I appreciate it. Um, Kathy Yarbrough 9443 says, them tacos look so good. Love your hair. Thank you, girl. Um, Michael Sewer 198 says, the food looks amazing. Thank you so much. It was amazing. It was delish. Bow Bow 6399 says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. I hope you have a wonderful day. You too, sis. Thank you so much. Um, AP Trucker 8518 says, hey, sis, you asked what the new channel name should be. My suggestion is learning to grow and show with yummy gardens. I think it's cute. I think it's cute too, but it is, that's long. <laughs> girl, that's long. We need, we need a cute short name. You know what I'm saying? Cute and short so people can remember it, you know? But thank you. I appreciate that. Melissa Gadsden 4771 says, if I wasn't married, um, no thanks to dating apps. Exactly. I exactly. Like, um, yeah. I don't know. I just don't think it's that it's real smart to, to do that. Um, even though you could meet a monster at the grocery store. You know, it don't even have to be on a day nap. So, you know, mm, I just wouldn't do a day nap, though. Patricia6041 says, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you, too, girl. Thank you so much. Um, and people think that that dude who um, killed Sade, that it was premeditated because they met on the app. He, it, like, I think it was premeditated, y'all. I think he was like, I think he set out to do that. You know, and hopefully he didn't set out to specifically do that to a black girl. You know, um, I don't know. He was giving those types of vibes to me, honestly. Uh, but yeah, that that could have definitely been premeditated. So, and I heard he has like this uh, uh, X -A -S -S -E -X dungeon in his basement. And, um, and somebody said another girl came out and said that she had an experience with him, uh, a date. And he he had took her out and they had went back to his house and he was trying to get her to go downstairs into that basement. And she was not feeling it. She was like, no, you know, no, thank you. That's okay. You know, um, I don't know how she made it out of his house, but she is alive and she telling her story. Uh, Melissa Gasson 4771 says, yes, those mother flipping tacos and that mango flavor water looks scrumptious. Girl, it was. <laughs> um, T me 048 says, looks delicious. Thank you, girl. Uh, Slither D's LOL says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. I truly never have heard of Brie Cheese. Girl, you ain't never heard of Brie Cheese. I just had to Google it. I probably seen it, but never knew the name. You probably didn't had some too, but never knew the name. It's a really like creamy cheese. It's so freaking good. Like, try it, girl. Try it. Go to Kroger and get you some because they have like all kinds of like gourmet types of brie cheeses. Like, you could get it with like fruit, like jams and stuff, and um, uh, what else? I I still got some. And, you know, did I already throw it away? I had bought two things of brie. I think one of them, one of them was like a um, a, a butter pecan one, 
and you're supposed to put it in the oven and let it get all hot and bubbly, girl. La, 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 la. <sighs> By the time I was ready to eat it, y'all, I I wasn't eating. I was keto, so yeah, couldn't have that. B Bogney O C to B J says, "Good evening, beautiful queen. Good evening, girl. Those homemade deep fried chicken and cheese tacos look so delicious, and that pico and that lime sauce and that peach drink. Happy Tuesday, sis, because I know you love Taco Tuesday, queen. Yes, you know I do." You look so gorgeous. Thank you, sis. In that outfit and your hair. Thanks for the awesome, amazing, beautiful video, sis. Thanks and love you. Love you too, girl. Thank you so much. Um, Dar R3431 says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. Your drinks always look so refreshing. Thank you. It, girl, let me, let me take a sip, girl. <laughs> mm. Because it is, girl. Ooh. E Troy 2045 says, I don't blame Kim K. I would distance myself too because he's definitely going down. Well, she's distancing herself for a reason. I think that she was participating allegedly in all the foolishness, right along with her mama, all of them. Like, I feel like that she was participating. I know she was going to them parties. And guess who has the tapes? Mm hmm. E Troy 2045 says, I only do pedicures and my salon use a new package every time I'm there. They put a new cover on the bowl every time I'm there. Yeah, they do, they do certain things, but they don't do everything that they're supposed to do. They use new files every time you like you make you they use new files and new uh foot scrubbers for your feet every time. I don't know, sis. I don't know. It's kind of hard to believe. But, I mean, they might. They might. Because I don't know what salon you go to. But, um, they're saying that people need to start going to those individual nail ticks. Because, you know, they do all the clean stuff. They taking stuff out of packages and all that stuff. It's, they said it's the salons that don't be doing that. And I know the salons don't be doing it. Like, I freaking know it. Literally, in her little cart thing, she had one of those foot scrapers, you know, to get the calluses and stuff off the bottom of your... One. Okay. She literally had one. But, yeah, they do. They they change the bags when you're putting your feet into that little bathtub thing. Um, they definitely change the bag. They do that every time. They change the bags. Um, but there's way more that they need to be changing way more um peggy benson 6349 says yes i do um girl that could be anything in that video <laughs> love child 6103 says hey these hearts uh are for your beautiful family thank you so much love child that is so sweet we thank you love that um Let's see. Girly Girl 95 says, hey, hey, girl. Um, Rose Miles 865 says, hey, I uh, know. Happy Taco Tuesday. Looks great. Enjoy. Um, enjoy. You looking beautiful as always. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, LaShawn 1901 says, yummy. I'm sorry, y'all. LaShawn 1901 says, yummy vibes. Hey, girl. Uh, Corey Soto 6610 says, hopefully you planted your strawberries away from everything because they will grow everywhere. Really? Well, they're in grow bags. So they're not like, uh, in, um, they're not with anything else. You know what I'm saying? I put them in like, how many different grow bags? I think I, think I did three different strawberry uh grow bags it was either three or four one of them but yeah yeah i'm still looking up on looking up stuff on you know how it's so intricate like you have to prune the stuff and sometimes you got to pick the flowers off so you can grow more strawberry like yo i got lots to learn honey still like it's gonna take a while Roy Lean D sends hard eyes. Thank you, girl. <laughs> um, Vlicious Dinners 5713 sends a red heart. Thank you, sis. 
Uh, user XR504ZZ7B says, food always looks good. Lynetta Robinson, all the way from Parsons, Tennessee. Shout me out, yummy. Love you. Be blessed. Love you too, sis. So shout out to Lynetta Robinson. Robertson. Robertson. I'm sorry, girl. Shout out to her. Um, Zenzone Zeal 569 says that crunch had me mad as hell because I wanted some. I wanted to reach through my phone and get one of your tacos. Love you, yummy. Love you too, girl. <laughs> Hopefully, I can make you mad next Tuesday, too. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna do uh tacos next Tuesday. I'm not gonna do tacos next Tuesday, y'all. But y'all need to help me on, you know, what to have. Maybe we don't even have to do Mexican food on Taco Sweet. But you know what? People be expecting that. Like on my other social medias, they be expecting an amazing Taco Tuesday. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do my um, enchiladas next Tuesday. Maybe I'll do that. Um, let's see. Alicia Cruz five nine five seven says your food looks good. Thank you, girl. Uh, Joyce Mac 1459 says tacos look delicious. Thank you, sis. Oh my God. Like, I really enjoy reading y'all's comments. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for interacting with the video, commenting, just supporting my channel, period. Okay? Appreciate y'all so much. And I just want to let y'all know that I'm going to start going live more. Like, like on a more consistent basis um you know i see how much people enjoy lives whether i'm just getting on there to ask y'all something or you know getting on there for whatever reason you know um people like to see you know you know if i'm i'm your favorite creator or one of them they like to see their favorite creators go live um so i'm gonna try to do that more for y'all okay um, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Y'all, let me tell y'all something, but I'm gonna let y'all, excuse me, I'm gonna let y'all know though, I'm gonna go live on, um, on, um, TikTok. I've never been live on TikTok and I just wanna, you know, see what it do. And I want my people up in there. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all are following me on TikTok so y'all can get the notification that I'm going live over there. Um... And uh, make sure y'all follow me on the family vlog channel, okay? I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all, when I, t I don't even know what to say. This meal was one of the, the best meals. It was so enjoyable and just everything about it was delicious. Everything. Oh, this just made me so happy. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 hey, 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 uh, uh, and I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now, you hear? Bye, y'all. Love y'all.